Hey everybody, it's Dr. Erica from Awakening Chiropractic. I have one week down, one week to go, and I must say I'm actually pretty excited to get home. Aside from the treatments here, it's it's going to be nice to get back to the normal life. But um, treatments are still going really well. Um, today, I wanted to talk about vitamin C. Uh, I don't think I've done that yet. And there are actually a couple different ways that the vitamin C will work in the body. And you know, you can all take a supplement of vitamin C and really your blood levels will max out at about 500 milligrams. So you can't really absorb a lot more and it doesn't have as therapeutic of effect even though it is very good to get it nutritionally, so don't get me wrong. But when given intravenously, over an extended period of time, the blood levels can go much higher. And so, um, two different mechanisms of action. One is that your pH levels actually become more alkaline. Um, and you may have saw a chart that I posted online about what fruits and vegetables and grains and all of that can help your body create a more alkaline environment. And just remember that cancer can't grow in alkalinity. So anything that you can do to raise your pH is going to be helpful. Um, so vitamin C is one of those things that you can do. So your body with vitamin C creates more of an alkaline environment. So it's a sustained alkalinity. That's one way. The other thing that it does is it forces um, basically uh, peroxide to be made in your blood and peroxide is cancer killing so the more vitamin C that you can have floating around in your system that gets deeper within the tissues that's going to create this peroxide type of reaction which is very much the same way that your white blood cells will kill cancer so um, that mechanism of action helps to kill tumor cells and, um, and then your body can expel them so it's killing tumor cells by creating a, basically like a hydrogen peroxide type of environment and then it's also helping you sustain alkalinity and um, for me I get my laetrile first I follow it with the vitamin C so the alkalinity is starting and then the last drip that I get is cesium carbonate and that is creating an alkaline environment directly not indirectly like vitamin C so um, the following six to seven hours after all of those drips, my body stays very alkaline into the night and then my um, um, immune cells can boost up and, and do a lot more damage to the cancer. So hopefully that enlightens you guys on why vitamin C is so important. And um, the IV is something that you can't just get. You've got to go to probably a naturopathic doctor um, or somebody like a DO, MDs could probably order it too, but I don't think that's their first plan of attack. So, uh, the other thing that I think people were asking about, and I've been going back and forth with Dr. Jillian, she's like, the patients want to know this, they want to know a day in the life. Well, let me tell you, it's pretty darn boring, so I'm not going to videotape what happens. Basically, we get up, we get ready, we walk to the clinic, which is about a mile away, um, and then I just get set up on IV and I get to catch up on my Facebook, my emailing, my research, my reading. Um, I do get a little tired during the infusion, so rest is obviously really important for the entire healing process. Um, and then once I'm all done with about six to seven hours of infusions, then we unhook and we go. And of course, um, you guys, I don't even think I've talked about this, this is like the the not so pleasant side of um, doing all this is there are enemas that need to be done too and they're done with coffee so I will talk about that in the future too but organic coffee very specific way of doing an enema um, helps your body detox so um, that is also part of my day <laughs> so um, hopefully that uh, helps clarify and um, I am totally open to receiving emails and Facebook messages and things like that and I've been getting so uplifted by them I really appreciate them thank you guys all for your thoughts and prayers and I will be back chatting with you soon have a great night